Hello Scorpios, welcome to your love reading for the month of March. If you are a Scorpio, someone rising or Venus, this reading is for you. And if you're on the cusp of a Libra or a Sagittarius, uh, please watch their videos to see if they also resonate with you. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> um, these, are, these are also very general. So if you would like your own private reading from me, my links are down below in the description box, okay? Scorpio, I drew the mice, the clover, the ace of cups, the coffin, the clouds, the two of coins, the rider, the tree, the nine of coins. Under the deck, I drew the dog, the bear, and the tower card. Very interesting. All right, I'm going to start with this row. So the mice is something of lack, uh, lacking something, something unhealthy, someone sick, sometimes illness, having doubts, lies, deceit. Sometimes it's known as the theft card, like something or someone being taken away from you. And then the clover is like an opportunity, a chance, luck, something short-lived, humor, joy. Also, sometimes it's someone not taking something seriously um, or you shouldn't take something seriously, right? Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new love, emotions. It's a really good card for love, right? New beginnings. Um, this is pretty obvious here. This is what I'm getting. Luck is running out or a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity was something that, ha that could have been started very obvious here one of you is basically like okay hurry up and make up your mind because i have someone else i'd like to pursue if you don't take this chance that's one of the messages i'm picking up here okay or another one is like someone saying i'll go find my true love soulmate if you decide you don't want this like not actually giving someone an ultimatum so some of you might not be giving an ultimatum but that's like the storylines I'm kind of seeing here. Like in your head, you might be thinking, well, you know, I like to find the one and I guess you're not the one, right? <laughs> um, the other storyline is pretty similar, but it's a bit like there was a potential for something beautiful to come out of this, but now someone is doubting what could have become. Okay, or what used to be easy going and unburdened between you two now has taken another turn. Okay, because sometimes the, the clover is also like not having to be responsible. It's usually like a card of ease, being unburdened, right? Um, and with the Ace of Cups, someone may want to start, you know, start again, however. So I do see that here too. Okay, so that's what I get from this row. Um, let me see the coffin, the clouds, and the two of pentacles. Yeah. Someone is not getting closure or not sure if this has even ended. This is similar to Libra's reading that I just did, and I reshuffled thoroughly. So if you are on the cusp of a Libra, or you are dealing with a Libra, or you have a lot of Libra in your chart, be sure to watch Libra's video, okay? Because I just uploaded it. Um, I believe they also, because they got the coffin and the clouds, okay? And the clover too, it was in their reading, okay? However, <clears throat> very sorry, the coffin and, um, what was I gonna say? The coffin and clouds alone can sometimes mean the end of confusion or the end of sadness and despair, okay? Or at least someone is trying to hold on to that little bit of hope that things can still be saved or resurrected with this connection, okay? Or someone is, is kind of, um, with the two of coins, I see that someone is kind of weighing the pros and cons over whether or not they should just drop all pretense by coming out and becoming much more clear about what it is that they really want or what they really expect to come out of this connection or relationship. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the, the coffin is the card of sometimes, sometimes, sometimes death, but it's usually like an ending, a loss, sadness, grief, um, or burying, like kind of, um, sweeping something under the carpet, like avoiding an issue. The clouds um, is confusion, not being able to see clearly. Something's kind of hidden a little bit there. You know, think of clouds, they hide the sun, right? So a cloudy day, you can't really see through the sun that well. That's what the clouds is about. You can't see through something. You can't really see the situation clearly as you'd like to, okay? And the two coins, multitasking, trying to keep a hold on things, trying to keep a balance on everything. For some, this could be that you're trying not to be sad. You're trying not to let what's been going on happen to you. You're trying to move on with a clear head, but it's really hard to do. Okay, but you're, you're trying to keep up with this. Like, okay, <clears throat> I know I got to move on. Okay, so that's some of the storylines I'm getting from that row. Now with this row, the uh, Rider Tree and Nine of Coins. 
So the writer is sometimes that new lover, like someone new coming in. It's about news, sudden changes, something happening quick. It's a lot of movement. The ship and the writer are both movement cards, and so is the stork. But the ship and the writer are like the fast moving cards, okay? So the writer can be um, sometimes even interfering or someone that's kind of uh, pressuring almost. Um, anyway, the tree is uh, health. The body parts being very physical being very grounding it's it's also usually it's like a calm peaceful card um did i say family health it's like the number one card for health okay or like i said the body parts if it's not really health okay nine of coins okay so this is someone very self-sufficient independent i don't need no one sometimes it's usually we see this as single like someone who's single or wants to be single doesn't need anybody some readers will use her as um with the bird on her uh, her hand, like she's kind of uh, watching from afar, like the bird's coming back and telling her what the bird saw, you know, like a messenger. So um, for some readers out there, it's also keeping an eye on you, like the page of swords. Anyway, uh, so what I get from this row here, <laughs> all right, after talking about all of this, now someone wants to come to take action suddenly after seeing the other person pay more attention to themselves. Or once that person says, well, okay, I don't need them anyways. <laughs> okay. Now for some, I'm seeing this as getting physical as in sexually, but with the nine of coins, I'm seeing this as a, for, for some of you, this is like a runner chaser dynamic. Okay. I don't know if you're dealing with a twin flame, but whatever, or that this person comes around only to be physical and then doesn't want to really spend all their time with you or that they just want to remain single. They like the bachelor life, okay? Or like I said, they try to push their way back into your life, but you don't really need or want them anymore, okay? Um, or maybe they come a little too late. Or this could be a new person. This could literally be, you go from one person to a new person. Someone comes in your life and you're like, you know, I have, there, I don't see like a lot of people coming, but let's just say, for example, for some of you, that, that might be what's happening here. You, you end a, it's like a, a relationship that never really started. It's like you just started something or it almost started and then there was a missed opportunity, it ended, and then you're feeling great. You're just, you're working, it's, for some, this could be working on yourself. It may not be a new lover, but for some, this is. This is a new lover that really takes care of you. Okay, so that's another message, okay got something else here all of a sudden. So, so for some, let me recap. Okay. Sorry. I have to do that because I have to remind myself because I, I have ADD really bad and I can just forget well, all, everything I just said. Okay. So it's like something that was a missed opportunity and then you're trying to deal with the heartache, but you're trying to move on. You're trying to really just move past this. And all of a sudden a new person comes along and really takes care of your needs. It's all about you. This person's really like, we'll do anything for you. Okay, or it's the person that was a missed opportunity that this happened and then they want to come back and fulfill your needs. Or you don't want them anymore. It's either or. Either they come back and fulfill your needs or you're like, you know what? I don't even need you. I'm fine. I'm doing myself, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it could be someone physical. And like I was saying, this could be a runner chaser dynamic issue, okay? Um, What else do I get? I'm trying to see if I pick up anything else here. Maybe I don't. All right, let me look at the rows of three sideways. Okay, so the mice, coffin, and writer. So if I'm gonna read just these three, because if you're new to my channel, I do all this too. So mice, coffin, and writer. This is like you putting a stop to a toxic or in a healthy situation, or someone changes their mind about an ending or tries to change things at the last minute, or, <laughs> I have a lot of ors, don't I? This is showing a new, like I said, showing a new, it's getting the same message, a new lover after an ending with a toxic person. Because this could be a toxic and healthy person or relationship that you just ended it with, and here comes a new one. Or the, the relationship that you were having doubts that might be ending, this person suddenly comes around last minute. This is similar to Libra's reading, except I didn't see any of this until kind of towards the end of the reading. Which with yours, I'm seeing it happen quicker. Does that make sense? So maybe a lot of the things that happen to Libra will happen at the end of the month. And then you might be dealing with this now or early on in the beginning of March. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's what I get for those three. Okay. Clover, clouds, and tree. 
this is interesting because when I look at this, like in a literal way, it's, it's telling me something that wasn't seen before is now bigger, plain as can be. And the reason I'm saying that is we look at the clover, the clover is a small leaf, right? I know in the picture it's big, but think of a clover. It's a small, it's a small plant compared to a big tree or, or in first, in some cases, it's like something small that ends up growing into something bigger, but you just can't see it yet. Remember the clouds. I know I, I said this in Libra's video. I really wish whoever made this deck did not include the ship in the number six card because in the clouds, you don't have a ship. The ship is in card number three, the, like the actual ship card, but it's far away, so it's not that big of a deal. But I, sometimes I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's not that. I almost want to see the ship, and I, it can mess up the whole reading. I'm really picky like that. I know you guys are like, why are you using those cards in? Because I like them. Because of size. Because <laughs> of the size. Anyway, I like to mix them up. Um, so it, for some of you, that's what I said. If this person, okay, for those of you that if this person, like whatever the missed opportunity was, if they come back, it it, it started from a clover to a full blown tree. So for some, it's good. You just can't, like I was going to say, the clouds, you can't see that right now. You might be worried. Oh, this is over. This is over. Is it over? You don't know if it's over. This is not knowing. Yes, this is an ending, but this is not knowing. You don't really know you're just taking a guess. Is it over? Is it, or maybe it is over. Oops. No, it's not like, it's like a scale, right? It's not the justice scales, but it's still the two of coins. It's, it's like a balancing act. Where is this going? You don't really know yet. So for some, that's exactly how I'm seeing this and know the Lenormand does not, there's actually no meanings of that. <laughs> I actually am getting one of the message here just by the visual of the cards, not actual meanings of the cards. That's the way I'm seeing it right now. For some of you, that's going to resonate. Okay. So that's a good thing. Okay. But, um, so yeah, the small leaf is now a tree. Okay. So, so this is a lost opportunity that makes itself presently known. So this person now wants a lasting stable commitment when they weren't seeing this with you before. Oh, Coda. Why do you have to do this right now? Hold on. I'm gonna put you on pause so I can close my door. Sorry. I have a big gigantic German shepherd and he's really loud. So even, even when I have my room closed, the door closed, he's still pretty loud. <laughs> Sorry if you hear him. He's barking at people walking by. All right. Um, he's a guard dog. That's what they are. So, so basically what I'm seeing here, another meaning here is you, some of you are just taken for granted or you think that here's the, again, you don't really know where somebody was and now someone wants to rush back in. However, I also pick up from these three that you want from this person or, or you, you went from this person to a better person or you possibly will. Like I said, it could be a new person that comes around or the person that was the missed opportunity comes back. And for some of you, both happens. For some, I will say that too. It's, po it's very possible here that the person you were trying to get over, you meet the new person, but the old person that you, they, they missed the opportunity with you still comes back. So now there's a decision to be made. Although I'm not seeing a decision, but you're, you know, if there is, hey, everyone's fighting over me. Yay, I, I get to choose now, right? Who's the bitch now? I'm kidding. Sorry, I just had to say that. <laughs> Some of you might be pissed though. You might actually say something like that. Like, mm-hmm, I knew it. I just knew it. But um, sometimes this is a concealed opportunity or not understanding the seriousness of what is going on. Like, I don't care or I don't even give a shit kind of attitude, right? Not sure if this is pretending you don't care, but you do or vice versa. Like telling this person, sure, you can stop by, but I'm going to be busy, right? Like as if you're letting them around, but not giving into their BS or not giving them attention. Like, sure. Just, you know, go ahead and entertain me then. That's fine with me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let me see. The clover and rider is across from each other. So this is a happy coincidence. This is a happy coincidence. Like to be surprised how easy something was. I wouldn't, I don't know if, um, and you know, oh, I forgot to read the bottom of these, didn't I? The Ace of Cups, Two of Coins, and the Nine of Coins. So this is like possibly juggling a new beginning, but, but honoring yourself, like, like having, 
Sometimes the two coins is juggling more than one person. So maybe there is involved here, but you're still taking care of you. You're like, you know what? I've, I'm doing myself. I'm not really gonna, it's like, you're not let. you're gonna, this, this can be literally a saying, I'm not gonna let anything worry me, all right? But again, like I was saying with these two are across from each other. So this could be a happy coincidence. And when I was saying how easy something is, that's one of the meanings with the clover and the writer, like surprised at how easy something was. So I'm not sure if this was, for some, it's like all this time I could have asked them this one question. You know how communication is so important in a relationship because if you don't get actual answers or communicate in a very clear way, um, then you're going to start having each other make assumptions, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert or anything or a, a professional expert on that, but that's really how it goes. It's just common sense, right? If you, if you don't get if there's not enough clarity with communication, right, because that's very important in a relationship, then it's going to cause someone to jump to conclusions or assume things. And it's going to cause bigger problems because they're going to not trust the other person or, uh, you know, then comes false ac accusations and all of that stuff. It's just going to make things worse. So for some of you, you realize you, you, someone opens up and asks directly to someone, hey, how do you feel about me? Or what the hell's going on between us? And you get a clear answer. And then it's like, oh my God, all this time. That was so easy. That was effortlessly. Why didn't I do that before? Or for some, I wouldn't even be surprised if you manifested and it happened really quickly or you did some kind of binding spell or love spell or something to kind of spice up this person to come back in your life and it worked just like that. And you're like, wow, that was so, that happened so instant and quickly. And I didn't think, and some of you might've doubted, like, does this stuff really work? No. No, or maybe you got a reading and they said, no, he's coming back, she's coming back. And you're like, but they haven't called me in like five weeks and then they still come back and they're like, see, okay, that, so it may not be something that's really easy, but it's something that surprises you that actually happened, like a, a surprise chance of luck, a surprise opportunity that you didn't see coming. Okay. Um, hmm. Sometimes this is not taking this person seriously. So I'm beginning to see that maybe this person who wants to rush back in actually wants to be serious now, but the other person doesn't believe it to be true or um, the opportunity was missed and both of you went on your lives. You went on your lives, like you said, oh well, only to be faced with each other once again for another chance to reconnect, okay. Now, yeah, that's a whole different story I'm getting now. So some of you both moved on. When I look at these two, I'm picking up this too. Some of you both went your ways, your separate ways, whatever. So, okay. So it could be both of you. I'm getting that too now. So it could be, okay, so this is a different storyline. So both of you might've just went your, so like I said, went your separate ways. You didn't realize that you guys were meant to be. Um, there was time apart. You didn't talk to each other, didn't hear from one another. And all of a sudden you saw each other in person or online and something, one of you, maybe not either both of you or one of you was like, oh, that may mean something. Or didn't I? Yeah. Oh, they're still single? Huh, isn't that interesting? Maybe I'll send them a message, you know, something like that. <laughs> but, but here's the problem. Even if both of you or one of you, it's like, it could, it could be that one of you isn't realizing it or seeing the signs. Cause I'm picking up that too, okay? Do I need to go over that again? Because I think I was getting all messy about talking about it. So the opportunity, let me try to remember. The opportunity was missed. One of you or both of you went your separate, you went your separate ways. Like, okay, oh well, nice to know you. Only to be faced with each other once again for another chance to reconnect. But one of you, this could be another meaning, because I'm it's like a half of another storyline to the other storyline I was saying. But somebody isn't seeing it or realizing it. And you're trying to get that person to wake up, wake up or the universe is right. So, and the outcome is the mice in the tree. So this is losing patience or a lack of stability. So it's not like the best outcome, but again, I feel like it's because of that missed opportunity, right? I feel like, hmm. Let me look at the cards under the deck. So we have the dog, the bear and the tower. Okay, the dog is that friend. So obviously, you, most of you have not been with this person. Again, it might have ended. But I, f I feel like this, for a lot of you, this is going to resonate more for someone that you never really got in a relationship, a solid relationship with. Okay, if you did, it was very short-lived. Okay, it was very short-lived. 
Um, because again, this is all about a missed opportunity. This will be easy to label this at, as, sorry. Um, the dog is someone that's loyal, a friend, a lot of support, a follower. Um, think of a dog, a dog likes to submit, right? More than cats, at least. I know some of you are out there like, well, dogs don't always listen. I know, I have lots of dogs, but they listen better than cats. You tell a cat what to do, they don't give a crap what you tell them, hell no. <laughs> when you own a dog, you are the owner of the dog. The cats own you, that's what I always say. I have four cats, so I know, <laughs> okay. Anyway, the bear is about a big influence, someone that has, uh, the, I'm sorry, someone that has a major influence on you. The bear is also about strength, courage, uh, dominance also. And then the tower, so something very shocking, huh? So what? just these two are like follow the leader or you lead, I follow. You jump, I jump, right? <laughs> or that someone's overly dominant behavior causes someone to get turned off real quick here. Um, so oh, I'm not done yet. So let's say if this person does try to come back, they may be too aggressive or a little bit too pushy. And that's what are the meanings of the writer card just saying. Not like, like, um, not someone that's violent, just someone that's pushy. Like, like, no, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come back. I really love you. No, 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 no. Give me another chance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, they, they won't stop. Right. <laughs> um, but, and for some, it turns you off, but you know what? I feel some of you will realize that this was confirmation. Like, well, I'm better off without them, but, but hold on now. Cause I have more for you. Okay. So another message I get with these three is this is a very strong, loyal, devoted, this is a very strong, devoted couple, okay? So one of the things that shows is you, they, you're they shocked by them keeping, um, how do I say this? Like, like you're, you are so shocked. Okay, for some of you, you, okay, if you don't want this person back, you're gonna shock them with you put them in the friend zone because you want the control this time. You're like, no. I'm not going to give in. No, what they did to me, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay. And I'm picking up another storyline. <laughs> Sorry. I always get so many storylines. I'm so exciting. Um, so, so this completely can turn around and shock both of you and you decide or experience a lot of loyalty. Okay. So another interesting message I'm getting is this person that comes back or this new person, whoever, but I feel like it's going to be someone from the, from, like I said, this missed opportunity. When they come back, all of a sudden they become like your puppet on a string that's willing to do anything for you. And what was I talking about here? This person comes around wanting to please you. Like, let me make this up to you. And I'm not saying you're going to take advantage of that. I'm not saying you're the evil one and you're going to be putting them a little puppet on your string. I'm, let me just be clear though. That's kind of what I'm seeing though. And they're, they're going to be fine with it for a little while. I'm not saying to take advantage, you know, be, be, in, be nice now. Okay. Maybe they really do feel bad or who, whatever happened. Right. <laughs> Even if they don't actually do that. Okay. So I don't want to over exaggerate, right? Like, oh, they can put you, you're going to be the, they're going to be a little puppet on a string. Maybe that's not going to happen that way, but this person really wants to please you and they're, it's going to shock you. So this could be a very big shock in a good way. All right. Cause honestly, these two cards are not negative and all honesty, neither are these. Okay. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Wow. So get ready. I guess that's what I got for you. If you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. I will see you guys on my next video.